Lucas Media. So I, I, Ryan Garcia is on Twitter signing an agreement. I guess where he's promising to focus on this fight. Then he went on, I guess, live. I don't know if this is before or after the agreement. But he just talked about how he's not lying. And, of course, he was forced to see and do things he didn't want to do. And think about Elon. I mean, why is it Mark Zuckerberg building a fortress? And then you had his uh, fans who was on there defending it and saying that he brought it to the light. And other people have been talking about it. Have you, y'all not... Have people not really noticed that when people go stuff like that, it's really something deeper going on? Ryan has not been himself. He doesn't appear. He didn't appear and be himself at the press conferences. And for him to spaz out like that, he really believed he saw what he saw. Now, some of y'all have said he's trying to sell the fight. Well, then my question is, why wasn't Mike Tyson giving this kind of grace? Y'all remember when Tyson and Holyfield got it? I mean, Tyson and... Lewis got into it. Lennox Lewis got into it at the press conference. And some people thought he was crazy. And my, here these dogs. Every time I try to make a video. And Mike Tyson said that he was trying to sell the fight. But you had people saying that he was unstable and that he shouldn't be in the ring. And I remember after his win, people, they thanked him for him being um, decent. But when it comes to Ryan, y'all say, oh, he's trying to sell the fight. And he's... And I said it to um, one of the people in my comic section. So what he said to Andrew Tate, that's him selling the fight? Y'all really think he's trying to sell the fight that way? By saying what he said about the youth? Mm, something ain't right about that. Now, do I think that Ryan could have been trying to sell the fight at first? Sure. But, I mean, he seems like he just... I don't know if, if he detoxing from something. I don't know if the stress is getting to him. But this isn't the first time Ryan stepped away for or had mental problems. Remember, he was out uh, over a year, somewhere around that time. And he talked about his mental health and all of that. And it's just, I really wish I could go deeper on YouTube. But y'all really need to hold Ryan accountable. Y'all putting a battery in this man back. Well, okay, why don't y'all give Kanye that, that same kind of grace? When Kanye went on his rant, he got canceled. But don't nobody had anything to say about that. Everybody turned on Kanye, but when it come to Ryan Garcia, you know, y'all defended and to the point to where y'all saying, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't think this fight is going to happen. If it does, I'll be surprised. When, I wouldn't be surprised if Ryan Garcia backed out a week before the fight. Honestly, and I think that's why Golden Boy, whoever I forget the guy is, but whoever he is, I know they telling him to stand on. Um, you hey, you need to be ready. And really, at the end of the day, Devin Haney, he the one that's that's in a lose lose situation because if he go in there and beat Ryan, they gonna say, oh, Ryan wasn't you know in his right frame of mind. And then if Ryan pulls out of the fight. They gonna laugh at Devin and say, "Oh, that's what you get." They're like, look, tank this, tank that, tank, tank, tank. And I'm a fan of tank, but y'all, y'all see what I'm talking about? So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?